Hi everyone! Thank you for your interest in Sakura Fighter Internet. My name is John from Sakura Mobile. So today we will talk about the remote installation setup. For a remote installation setup, two devices will be sent to your residence prior to the actual installation date. And all you have to do is set up the devices and you're good to go with the internet. For physical installations though, you do not have to worry about the setup as the installation team will bring the ONE modem to your residence after they set up the wiring and the equipment. But for today's video, we'll only discuss remote installation setup and how to perform. Once your Sakura Fiber internet application for the remote installation has been submitted to NTT, you'll receive two devices. One device will be the ONU modem, which will be sent from NTT. The second device will be the wireless router, which will be sent from our company. So Wi-Fi will be available once you connect these devices to the port in your residence. Sounds a bit difficult. Maybe you're thinking, how do I do this? Well, today's video, we will just demonstrate how to set up the ONU and wireless router so that you can use the internet. Ready? Let's go! Now, let me show you the two devices that you'll receive. So the first device is the ONU modem, which we sent from the telecommunications provider, NTT. The second device will be the wireless router, which will be sent from our company, Sakura Mobile. Let me introduce the ONU modem first. So there are several items which will be coming with the ONU modem. So first is of course, the device itself, the ONU modem. Second is the device holder. Third is the fiber optic cable. And lastly is the AC adapter for the ONU modem. Now, I'll introduce the wireless router, which will be sent from our company, Sakura Mobile. So in the package, you'll receive the wireless router device itself, the LAN cable to connect the wireless router to the ONU modem, and the AC adapter. Now, we sometimes receive questions regarding the wireless router and if there's a rental fee. So our Sakura Mobile customers can use this router for free, and there's no rental fee incurred. Now you may be thinking, there's so many things here. Where do I start? Well, don't worry. We'll cover step-by-step step how to set up the ONU modem and then how to set up the wireless router with the ONU modem. So let's get started. Let me explain how to connect the ONU modem. Take off the cover located on the bottom of the ONU modem. Next, get the fiber optic cable. Plug one end of the fiber optic cable into the port located on the ONU modem. Push it firmly, but not too hard, and there should be a nice click. Get the other end of the cable and plug it into the fiber optic port located in your residence. Once again, pushing it firmly, but not too hard. Get the cover and put it back on the ONU modem. Next, get the AC adapter and plug it into the back of the ONU modem. Then plug the other side of the AC adapter into the wall outlet. Next, we will connect the Wi-Fi router. Get the AC adapter and plug it into the back of the router. Plug the AC adapter into the wall outlet. Next, press the power button located on the back of the wireless router. The power lamp should turn green on the front of the router. The lights on the ONU should also be green as well. Next, Take off the cover on the back of the ONU modem and plug the LAN cable into the port. Put the cover back on the back of the ONU modem. Get the other side of the LAN cable and plug it into the blue port on the back of the wireless router. Once you do this, the light should turn green. The wireless network information is located on the bottom of the wireless router. Now we will input this information into our device. First, search for the wireless network and connect to it. Now input the password located on the bottom of the wireless device. Once you are connected, we will now try to test the speed of our internet connection. We will be going to speedtest.net. And as you can see, we are averaging around 400 megabits per second, which is pretty fast. Now we're connected. Today, we covered how to set up the internet devices for the Sakura Fiber Internet remote installation. 
What did you think? If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. You can email us or you can call our office during our working hours between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.